All right, Janie is catching the big koi because we're going to be moving them out to the outdoor pond. And you would think it's easy. They're hard to catch. But he says they're hard to catch. Yes, I did catch one. Yeah, you have two. Three. Oh, one's a goldfish. Oh, he has goldfish and koi, so he's going to separate them or something. Can't walk straight because he's kind of grouchy, I think. Why are those? Oh, that was just one. Are you leaving the goldfish in here? Yeah, see the stupid things are going to hide down there. In the well, do you want me to go over there and scare them to you? I don't want to catch the big one yet. No, He's draining this. I call this the black lagoon because it's black. It has the monsters in it. Who knows what's in the bottom? One time Jamie found one of my gold necklaces in here. The little grandkids threw in. No, it wasn't you guys. I have two little visitors here, but their mother doesn't want them on camera. So they can't be in my camera. There's the big one coming. There. Go oh, there. This might be a boring video for you. I'll go over here and maybe I can scare him. I hope I don't fall out. Yeah. Is it recording? The lights come on, it's recording. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, here's a... Uh, there's a reflection in my eyes here. I can't see nothing. Anymore. And then it's stirring up the... Oh, do you want to trade places? Can you come over here? I got the big one. Okay, the other one's hiding in the cinder block there. There he comes toward you. I got him. Okay, record it. This is a male. Now what? Now. Come get your, come get your camera from the kids. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, All right, here they are. They don't have much room in there. I'm Where's gonna the catch, thing? I'm gonna catch the big one in the net here. And then the kids are gonna bring the buckets. You can carry it, lift it, and see if you can carry it. Which one? Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Well, Kaylin, this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, fishy. There he comes. Big one He's to the back. He's coming this way. He comes to the back. He wants to catch the big one. Here he comes. Is it a boy or girl, do you think? It's a boy. Got him. All right. It won't fit in the buckets. And it hurts his back. We don't want to break his back. If you broke his back, would you eat him? No. I heard they have a lot of bone, little bones, that I could just not know. He's doing this. He's trying to clean the drain out of the pond. So it can start be painting, finish painting. How long can a fish go without breathing? kids to do it. <laughs>
Wait. Coming. All right, here he goes. There he goes. He's set free, he thinks. He's trying. Are those kids coming? Are you guys coming? Come on, bring your buckets. They're coming. There he goes. They'll go hide under that. The lilies. No, they're cattails. Well, we gotta get Kip to help put this trampoline mat up. I don't think they can do it. He has to have strong fingers. We'll get Parker and some of those. Yeah, get, get the bigger kids. Room and board anyway. I wonder, he won't come back here probably. Those buckets are kind of heavy. Here, been kids. Out now. There he is. All right. The buds on the trees. Yeah. What kind of tree is this? Right here. Okay, we got. Did you get what? One, I brought extra pants. Okay. And there's two of them. This one right here is a big female. Oh, look. She's her. full of eggs. We want her to have eggs. I mean, lay them. Go help, Colby. And the idea is. That other one's. Female, they're in cold water and then when they get in warmer water when the sun warms this up that is when they lay eggs is that right yeah once they when they warm up around 60 degrees then they'll try to spawn what about that other littler fish what's it well i think it's a male but i'm not sure how, this one, how many are you going to bring out here just these okay Okay. This one is a male. A boy. The boys are sleeker, skinny, lined, and the girl, it looks like a girl to me. No, it's a male. I touched it. You did? Now your hands sink. Okay, look, the big male and the female are swimming together right there. They're in love? They're swimming together. Oh, yeah. Here they are. They're staying together. Okay, we want them to fall in love out here in the wilderness. Because we want them to have babies. His koi are worth more money than the goldfish. We Last year, the goldfish breeded and made babies. But, and that's what that whole tank he has of them. But we want the koi okay, to now this other mate. Male. And maybe he'll start following. And then the boys will fight over the girl? Well, normally they'll both try to mate with her. We don't care which one is the All master. All we want to do is get some baby koi. Jamie's dream come true. The girl, where is she at? Uh, Way down there. She's in the weeds right underneath there. She's looking for a place to lay the eggs, maybe. No, she's just... Where will they lay? Where will they lay the eggs? No. There's the a moss. skitter bug. The moss is just starting to grow. So this green moss is where they lay the eggs? Oh. Well, they'll lay them here's, up in the... Here's the... ...reeds and around. Here's the... Okay. Do they lay it more than one time? He's filling this. Are you, did you fill this? See, in low. the summer, this will all get solid full of stems growing up and everything. Cattails, yeah. And they'll just go up in here and spawn around in all these weeds. They have to have vegetation to spawn in, too. And then when the little baby fish hatch out, they have to have the weeds. So the big fish will Well, they it. have to hide in the... Yeah. Well, we got three of them staying together right there. Look, the little teeniest male will be turned loose. He's not coming out. He's probably going to be here. So there's only four? You only have four? Well, 
There's only four in here. Females, the one in the back right there. The more gold one. That other male has kind of a white head. Yeah. And the big one kind of has a white head too. But he has an orange splotch on his head. He has Batman signal on his head right there. <laughs> See that? I do. Does that look like Batman? No, it's Batfish. Okay. So we got something else to add to our prayers. Jamie will add that to the prayer. Pray that my fish will have babies. And he also prays every day that he'll get his work done. Now he says that in his prayer. When he says the blessing on the food or anything. Pray that I'll get my work done. I know I still got to paint the bottom of the pond today. And then we're ready to go to the tree house. My Mother's Day gift will be filling the pond. What is it? The cement pond. I call it the cement pond. It's the swimming pool. I gotta let the water run until this fills on up. I don't know why it's not filling up really fast. Because it's a lot of gallons. It looks like All it's right. Got a place in the line. Subscribe. Just because you should. Because now we're outdoors. And if we're outdoors, we get a whole different crew watching. So if you love fish, if you love tree houses, if you love gardening, subscribe so you'll know. Let me say something. He wants to say something. These gold fish and the koi in these ponds. Okay, I'm in the tree. Can you back up a little first? Well, come on over to this side. I'm in the tree getting pricked. Okay. The, the fish in these ponds do twice as good in the pond as they do in their getting fed artificial pellets and stuff. And we don't even have to feed them. There's enough mosquito larvae and different things that they just feed on the, feed on the algae. They might not be able to hear you very well. Please. I know, our neighbor's got his lawnmower going. Anyway, in the fall when I take the goldfish out of here, they're just great big fat, and they're just like they've been stuffed all summer. And they're just the most brilliant, bright colors. And then when they're left in the winter, in my pond inside, they kind of fade out. And they, in the spring, they're not really colorful when I bring them out. 